And now let's think a little bit about the natural approach to promoting the immune system. Now this is one of the most common questions I'm asked by my patients. How do I support my immune system? How do I overcome this cold, this flu, etc.? And so this is something you want to get very good at. Now these are some really important bits of advice for you to take away and to start incorporating into your future practice, but also into your own life and your family's lives. Now to support the immune system, we need to try and manage stress. So combating stress, dealing with the ultimate cause of stress and making good decisions and working with things like breathing exercises will be very important. Because as soon as we are stressed, we release cortisol, which suppresses the immune system. Remember as well that refined sugars will spike the blood sugar levels, that will spike the insulin levels, and as a result of spiking your blood sugar levels, your cortisol levels will ultimately increase too. Because as soon as you go up with your blood sugars, they very quickly come back down. So think about the foods that you're eating, trying to minimize refined carbohydrate intake. We then need to think about things like zinc, because zinc does help to enhance the immune system and promote the development of immune cells. So we can think here about pumpkin seeds, chickpeas, cashews, spinach and mushrooms. Vitamin C is often suggested to modulate the immune system. So think here of those foods like broccoli, guava, currants, um, red and, and also green peppers, as well as kiwi and oranges. And you may consider supplementing with vitamin C here. If you're supplementing with vitamin C, I would perhaps look at a couple of different forms of that supplement. You could consider something called Estacy. Estacy is a very bioavailable form of vitamin C that your body can use easily. And you might also look for vitamin C that contains bioflavonoids, which basically means that the vitamin C is with lots of other plant uh, pigments and plant substances that are also packed with nutrients. Again, that's a form that generally is a bit more bioavailable for your body. Vitamin D is also important, and there's actually been a lot more research coming out about how vitamin D could play a big role in things like flus and other viral infections. Now, one of my go-to uh, very quickly um, topics here with supporting the immune system would be to look at beta-glucans. And beta-glucans come from medicinal mushrooms. Beta-glucans are actually carbohydrates, but they are very good at supporting the immune system. So this really, whenever I talk about supporting the immune system, it's one of my really first bits of, of advice. And I would often recommend patients to consider supplementing with beta-glucans, but also to incorporate those medicinal mushrooms into their diet, which may be easiest for them to incorporate that in a powdered form. So look at, those, look at those mushrooms like shiitake and reishi mushrooms, chaga mushrooms, um, cordyceps, and so on. We also need to support the microflora, the gut flora, so think about probiotics and prebiotics. We can use herbal medicines. Probably the best herbal medicine that will increase your immune activity will be echinacea. Echinacea increases the numbers of white blood cells. Elderberry is also good at supporting the immune system, and elderberry is particularly good at dealing with viral infections. Ginseng will also support the immune system. And we can also think about using things like ginger, which is um, antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory, and also garlic. Garlic is probably one of the best antimicrobials that we can get from foods. We can also try and incorporate other antimicrobials if there is a local active infection. Calendula can be used, so calendula topically or as a, as a liquid tincture could be used. You could also use colloidal silver, which has directly antibacterial and antiviral and antifungal properties. So if you have an infection occurring in the oral cavity in the mouth, you can think about gargling with colloidal silver, which will help to kill some of those microbes. So we need to think about supporting the immune system and then directly introducing antimicrobial agents. 
You can also use grapefruit seed extract, which is also antimicrobial, that's very effective. And you can also use things like tea tree, which is also antimicrobial. Exercise is good at supporting the immune system too. And like we said before, we've got to ensure that somebody is uh, not smoking, that they are trying to manage their stress, that they're trying to minimize alcohol intake too. So those are some tips for you as to how you can support the immune system with some basic bits of advice. And these are very easy to incorporate into somebody's life. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy.com.